so check it. Like I said, Camp Gabriel was the type of spot they could be left for dead by his whole family. So a lot of dudes be broke. Chow like six o'clock. After six o'clock, boy, that stomach going empty nest, you heard? Niggas be starving. Niggas be starving, so. You know what I mean? When I first came there, like I said, I ain't no niggas like that. I knew niggas in the jail, but I ain't no niggas in Building 37 like that. I used to see dudes like Point and T and them niggas in the jail, but I ain't know them niggas like that. But now I'm in a dorm with them niggas, and now I'm on the outside crew with them niggas. So they putting me on the house shit go. Niggas like, yo, look, son, that outside crew shit, the steady police we got, that nigga cool as a motherfucker. He be letting us rock, you heard? Like, know what I mean? He don't be trying to slave niggas and break niggas back. Like, you know what I mean? He give niggas a lot of rest and a lot of leniency. You know what I mean? But that's only him. Other niggas be on some bullshit. So we used to go out, my nigga. I'm talking about, like I said, bro, 10 below zero type, 8 below zero type status. We be out there. You feel what I'm saying? Bro, niggas used to have us in the, Adir in the Adirondacks, Lake Placid, and all of that crazy shit, chopping wood for the community. Like, chopping up trees, stacking up power. My job was to power the wood. My nigga T used to motherfucking hit the wood with the axe, break that shit. Now I mean, one nigga would, would pick the shit up and pass it to me, and then I would stack it up on the joint. We would take turns with shit. But my nigga T was a beast with the axe. One hit a quitter. Bong! Breaking them shits open. You feel me? Because when you first start, it's hard. You be hitting them shits two, three times, they don't be breaking open. But when you get nice, one, one hit a quitter. So my nigga T from Coney Island used to just be smashing that shit. My nigga was, my nigga wasn't no tall nigga. Son have his shin guards on. He just be smashed. Son had the dreads. He just be smashing them shit. Wong, and I be stacking them shits up. My stack game used to be bananas, but I used to wasn't. I really wasn't feeling that shit because you know the community come get that wood for free for their house. Like you know what I mean? Like we out there doing crazy labor in the freezing ass cold. For these motherfuckers to just come through, snatch up all the wood they want for their houses. Niggas ain't used to say thank you. None of that. We just be out there busting our ass. You feel what I'm saying? So we used to be ODing on the police. Like when we ain't have a... Even when we had our steady on, we was doing it for jokes. But when we had a non-steady police on that was a was just a slave driver, we used to just be stacking the wood, singing old slave spirituals and shit to get the police tight. You heard? Niggas be like... Wait in the water. Police be getting mad because the rules was you could sing. You can't talk. You can't be, you don't supposed to be um, engaging in mad conversation and shit while y'all working. But niggas can't say nothing about singing. You feel what I'm saying? So niggas used to be singing OD slave spiritual. Oh, go on Apollo. I wish I could remember some of the songs that we used to sing, my nigga. My nigga Point used to sing his ass off. You heard? So he used to be the nigga that be setting it off. And that nigga be singing mad old slave spirituals to get the police mad. You feel me? Old slave songs. And then we used to be fucking with like new niggas on the crew that was young niggas coming, coming to jail and niggas be in there crying about their girl and shit. Oh uh, man, my son, we used to be murdering these niggas. My son Point used to have us crying, my nigga, to a point where niggas couldn't even work. Even the police be laughing. You heard? Niggas used to be flipping that song, that shit, if you think you're lonely now. So Jody, we used to replace the words with Jody. Now, for, for those who don't know, Jody means the nigga that's fucking your girl while you locked up. You understand what I'm saying? That's why that nigga name was Jody in that movie, um, what's the name? In that movie, Baby Boy, you heard? So niggas been saying that in the pen forever. Yo, nigga, Jody be fucking your girl while you locked up. So niggas used to be on the crew like, damn, man, my motherfucking, my, my girl, man, she ain't picking up the jack. She ain't writing back. Niggas, my son Point used to be like, if you think you're lonely now, wait until Jody fucks. You better wait until Jody fucks. Yo, son, niggas used to be crying. And then we be singing the backup vocals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Niggas be like this. She'll be holding Jody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Niggas be like, she'll be holding Jody. Well, 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 well. Yo, niggas be crying, my nigga. You heard? Niggas be like, yo, man, that shit ain't funny. Niggas be like, son, we keeping it real, son. Jody is on. Jody is in the building, my nigga. That's why she not answering her phone calls and all of that, my nigga. 
So niggas used to be singing all type of songs Switching and bouncing the name to Jody To get niggas tight I can't remember I wish I could remember most of the songs We used to be singing my nigga Cause we had a catalog My son Point was the lead singer And we was the backup vocalist Oh my nigga We used to be We used to be wildin' When the police that we ain't like was on Niggas go into the slave spirituals And we start talking like slaves You heard <laughs> We start talking like I be like Police be like, all right, we're going to work again for another hour. I be like, all right, Massa. I be like, ooh. I be like, the Massa getting aggressive. Don't hit me, Massa. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas be laughing like, we be doing that shit behind the police back. Like, the police be like this. All right, no talk. Y'all doing too much talking and playing around in the line. Because we be in the line. Chopping, stacking, chopping, passing, and stacking. You heard? So niggas be like, yo, y'all playing too much in the line. Calm it down. You're like, ooh. Don't whip us now, Massa. Massa getting aggressive. Let's not upset the massa now. Niggas be dying, my nigga. You heard we be doing that shit on a low. Police be like, what's all the laughter about? He be like, nah, nah, nothing, nothing, officer. Niggas be like this. Oh, niggas be like, oh, oh, we done upset the massa now. Let's not talk too, let's not do too much talking in the line now. You understand? We don't want the massa to get upset now. Yo, son, niggas used to be dying, my nigga. Niggas be like, hold on, don't whoop us, massa. Nigga be like, yo, <laughs> niggas be like, yo, all right, enough with the, enough with the games. He be like, oh, 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 don't whip us, master. Oh, don't whip us, master. Niggas used to be crying, my nigga, like, yo, fuck out of here, you slave herding ass nigga. You understand what I'm saying? We out here working on our time, nigga. But yo, we used to be bugging on those outside clearance work days, my nigga. I'm talking about bugging. Then, like, it used to be like, boom, niggas would have us in, a, in Lake Placid, right? It'd be fucking brick. We used to be, um, pruning trees like if we wasn't chopping wood we was pruning trees that was dangerous with like mad snow in it so they could fall on somebody so we used to have to prune that shit my nigga and cut the branches off and the snow be falling down your sleeve of your coat oh my god it used niggas used to be tight my nigga stressed you heard like yo and then like after when it get too cold they would let us go into the shack where they got a fireplace listen bro a log cabin with a fireplace a real deal fireplace Son, it be 10 below zero outside. You go inside that wood for that wood shack, my nigga, within 60 seconds, you like, yo, let me the fuck out of here, nigga. That's how hot it used to be. You heard? So it was freezing for Alaska outside, and then inside, that shit was Dante's Peak, you heard? That shit was mob deep, hell on earth. Up inside the up inside the um up inside the cabin, my nigga. You be in there for two minutes, you be like, all right, I'm, I'd, rather, I'd rather freeze, my nigga. Get me the fuck out of here. But we used to appreciate that shit, nigga. We go back outside for 10 minutes, come back right back up in that shit. Like, yo, then it be time for chow. Niggas used to give us a chow in big-ass giant buckets. You heard? Big giant buckets. Shit like turkey tetrazzini and motherfucking beef stew and chili and chili con carne and all that dumb shit. They be turkey a la king and shit like that that they be serving turkey chow mein like what's the science behind that niggas was giving us mad turkey up north like nah nigga y'all niggas was stealing the beef and and pause that's what i heard like niggas who worked in the mess hall niggas said every inmate supposed to have two real steak dinners a year but what the civilians used to do that worked for the jails these niggas would steal half of the steaks and then sell and then serve niggas chopped up pepper steak for the rest of the year like three or, time, three or four times a year you might have remember that meal chopped up pepper steak over rice and shit like that that was supposed to be steak over rice but the civilians used to steal all of the meat and take it home you understand what i'm saying so niggas was fucked up in the game so i mean we used to eat on the bus and i mean then we get back to the jail we'll eat chow but come eight o'clock nigga the whole crew be in the dorm we be hungry as a motherfucker. Nobody had no commissary money, no nothing. Niggas be hungry, son. So what? So eventually, my nigga, niggas started laying their press game down. And it started like this. We used to be so deep. We be in there just looking. Look, niggas used to be coming cooking. All type of new niggas coming to the dorm that we don't know. Niggas be cooking. So niggas used to just be walking by the kitchen like, shh, it's a lot of food getting cooked out here, nigga. I'm hungry, nigga. What's up? A lot of niggas eating up in here, know what I mean? So niggas used to start getting nervous and niggas be tossing little food like yo hair. Like yo hair. I don't even know y'all niggas, but y'all niggas, y'all niggas in here looking like wolves. Here go a box of rice, here go a can of mac. 
You understand what I'm saying? Here go a box of chicken. Like, real talk, my nigga. So once niggas, so niggas in the dorm used to just be, we used to be sitting in the dorm, sitting out there looking like wolves while niggas we ain't know was cooking. Niggas would be cooking their meal, we come out there six deep and just be like this. Niggas cooking eats and all of that. Niggas got eats and all of that, you heard? Niggas be saying shit like that, like, niggas got eats and all of that, you heard? So niggas be like, yo, Fuck it, so niggas in the dorm started congeing, yo, listen, those niggas, let's just all feed those niggas, so there don't be no problems in this dorm, so real talk, the whole dorm used to be hitting us with food to eat every night, we ain't have shit. So basically, every night we ain't have shit, but every night we ate like kings, you heard? Because we was the mob. Watch out, man. looking, man. <laughs> we was the mob, you heard? So we started, we started saying that shit. We like, yo, nigga, we like the mob up in here, except all of us is broke as a motherfucker. You heard? We the broke ass mob. I'm on a hunt six right now between Manhattan and Columbus. I half grew up on this block. It's my family block. You heard? I used to come up here on the weekends from Brownsville. You heard? Back when that used to be a PC shop across the street, a video game room, all the number holes was out here. Now, I mean, my grandmoms used to be out here all night playing a number. You heard? But, yeah, now I mean, so we like, yo, we like, nigga, we the broke-ass mob. You heard? And niggas start, and that shit stuck. And niggas started really calling ourselves that, you heard? So when niggas started lightening up on the sharing love shit, we used to just get goony on niggas. Like, niggas be out there cooking. Niggas be having feasts and all of that. We just mob up. Like, yo, son, broke-ass mob, real talk. Let's go in the day room deep. Niggas go in the day room like this. <laughs> Bunch of big, big mob of broke niggas like this. Yo, what's up, man? Niggas smelling good. Out. Niggas come through the day room like, shit smelling real good out here, er? Huh? He's got them octopuses and oysters and all of that, huh? <laughs> Niggas was coming through like, shit smelling real good up in here, you heard? Niggas eating chickens and you heard? Fried mackerels and things of that nature, like, what's up? Hurt? Niggas used to be spreading that love, nigga. Literally, niggas used to be like this. Broke ass mob, what up, man? Yo, I got two cans of Mac for y'all niggas. We're real talk, niggas be coming from commissary. Yo, 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 broke ass mom, what's up, man? Yo, here go three bags of rice. Real talk, my nigga. Know what I mean? Niggas used to feed the broke ass mom. You heard? And we used to hold each other down. Pause. We used to hold each other down crazy. Know what I mean? And we became like a family. Know what I mean? Word, my son chicken head from the Ville was in there too. I heard son went home and got murdered. I don't know how true that is. But if so, man, that's fucked up. Know what I mean? But my son chicken head. You heard from up the hill, but I mean, some was in the dorm with us. We had the squad, my nigga. I'm going to keep it real with you. We had the squad. We was, we was gooned out and we was mad deep. Like I said, the whole dorm is double bunk, you heard? So it's a hundred niggas. We all slept in the back. You feel what I'm saying? So a lot of niggas ain't even fuck with the back of the dorm because they know that was the mob. That was BAM territory, you heard? Broke ass mob. And if you ain't live back there, don't come back there because if something come up missing, you gonna be the one to get dealt with, you heard? So man, we was in there mad deep, my nigga, fucking with that outside crew every day, freezing our ass off. You understand what I'm saying? Freezing our ass off on them outside, on that outside crew. Real talk, my nigga. But we was good because we had each other, you heard? We was holding it down, like, we was deep, we was the team, like, you feel me? Couldn't nothing come between a broke-ass mob member, nigga. Now, I mean, you was part of the broke-ass mob, nigga. Anything you needed, we held you down, my nigga. Food, money, whatever the fuck it was that we could possibly contribute. If you was broke-ass mob, my nigga, you was good, nigga. Everybody ate. If one nigga ate, everybody ate, you heard? And that was the rules, you heard? And we kept it official. We kept it official, my nigga. Know what I mean? I miss my nigga Point. I miss my nigga T. I ain't seen neither one of them when I went to the street. 
You heard? I hope both of them is alive and well and free and out here not and not sitting in that penitentiary somewhere, my nigga. Yeah, man, the broke ass mall. We was the team, you heard? We used to be out on them outside crew. I remember one time we used to be on that outside crew. I remember one time we had this white boy on the crew, right? This nigga a funny nigga. This nigga, he from upstate New York. He be thinking that he a real motherfucking forest ranger, right? So this nigga used to run the chainsaw. So nigga used to be running the chainsaw without his leg, without his arm. Shin guards on, so we used to be telling the nigga, yo, son, stop doing that, bro. Stop fucking with that chainsaw without that motherfucking, without those motherfucking um, shin guards. He'd be like, man, I've been doing this all my life, man. I've been, I've been using a chainsaw since I was 12 years old. I know how to do this shit. This shit is nothing to me. Sure enough, nigga, one day that nigga was fucking with that shit, trying to um, saw through a log of wood, pause. Nigga trying to saw through a log of wood. He like this with the chainsaw. That shit just caught on something and slipped off and just hit that nigga shin. Nigga like, ah, ah, my leg. Shit was wild, shit slipped off. And nigga was like, and shit slipped off. And nigga was like, nigga was like, ah. We like, yo, you all right, nigga, you all right? Shit ain't really go crazy, but shit, shit cut into about an inch into his shin. Could have been worse. This shit leaking crazy. We like, y'all, damn, we had to pack it up. You heard we had to, once some injury shit like that happens, they got, they send you back to the, the whole, the whole, they send the whole crew back to the jail. So this, we had to pack it up and go back to the jail. Cause this nigga, this nigga chainsawed his shin. Real talk. That shit was funny. That shit was funny, but it wasn't funny when it happened. It was funny when we found out he was all right, you heard? But that was, but that was our nigga. That nigga was a funny motherfucker. You think he learned his lesson after that? You think he put them shin guards on after that? Never, nigga. You heard? <laughs> we was some funny motherfuckers, bro. But, now I mean? Let me tell you. Like I said, remember I told you niggas in Camp Gabriel was losing their motherfucking mind? I'm going to tell you how much niggas was really losing their mind, my nigga. When niggas started thinking they was really in the streets. I'm going to tell you when niggas in Camp Gabriel finally took it too far thinking that they was in the streets. Remember I told you the nigga had the gun? I'm going to tell you some next level shit niggas did. Know what I mean? So y'all stay tuned. Keep it locked in, nigga, because it ain't going to do nothing but get better. You heard? Many. I mean, I remember when I first, first came up top, um, and when I was in Franklin, I mean, you know, I had been in a couple of spots, but I wasn't settled anywhere. Franklin was the first jail that I ever got settled in and was there for a year and better. Like, when I first got there, I thought the jail was laid back and quiet. It looked laid back and quiet. And then we went to programs in the morning and two Jamaican dudes who had beef, we just started going gun for gun, like, I mean, stabbing each other up mad crazy, but they both had vests on. Like, they used to take the phone booths and strap the phone booths around their chest and stuff to make bulletproof, like, knife-proof vests. So they was just stabbing each other up mad crazy on the walkway, and all you heard was the bangers going through all of the paper, like, getting stuck mm -hmm. inside the um in, inside the phone book and coming out, like, pop, 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 bust, busting through the state coat and going mm -hmm. in the phone book, phone book. But I remember watching that and I remember saying to myself it was two Jamaican dudes and I remember saying to myself if them dudes ain't have phone books I out like, why these dudes ain't bleeding this was like yo they got phone booths on you feel what I'm saying I was remember I was like the way these dudes are stabbing each other if they ain't have no phone books blocking both of them would be dead bro yeah. both they stab each other like 30 times each bro I'm talking about the way dudes go toe to toe boxing they was toe to toe banger, just stabbing each other, each each other taking turns stabbing each other up. Like one dude to stab it, a dude six seven times, the other dude to stab a dude six seven times. But they was all hitting the vest. But I was like, it only gonna take a matter of second for somebody to get hit in the neck, and it's gonna be a wrap. But in the particular jail that we was in, it's only a certain. They like, got like five minutes on that walkway before you get to the police. So every morning, whoever got beat. They handle it on that walkway where it's no police for five minutes. So people be walking ass slow so that they could get it on. And them dudes just got it on for the whole five minutes until they was running out of breath, catching their breath, going back at each other again, stabbing each other. I'm sure, I'm sure a couple, I'm sure they got hit sometime. One of them would took a few of those hits had to penetrate somewhere where they got hit. You understand what I'm saying? But mostly 
they was hitting them phone books and the sound I'll never I'll never forget the sound of those phone books, them picks or whatever bangers they had hitting those phone books. Like I was like, boy, if that if that was somebody arteries, it'll be over. So that was like the most sobering moment right there. Where I knew where I was at. Like, all right, this this is different. You heard? Yeah. You said he was gonna go for gun hitting the yeah, so they both, yeah, they both wasn't playing, and I mean, they both was coming to, to really try to, I mean, drop something. One in the hood, he like, yo, who, who, who that nigga standing in front of the store? Yer, yer.